Hello and welcome to Enemy Plays Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. My name is Nick and we're back. This is, I believe, the 22nd episode, which would mean it's a Tuesday upload. So how's your Tuesday going? Probably not a whole lot going on if you're watching this as it comes out, because I put these out at like 9 o'clock in the morning. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. You know, I kind of realized over the week... Why the fuck am I putting out, like, the day that I'm publishing the video? What do you need? Poison Nessa, have you? And to think I would have left this keep with the likes of you... Fleshling. Okay. What is it? It shall be as you wish. I don't know who the fuck you were. Alright. We are now on the point where I have no idea what's going forward. So I'm super excited to see how this all plays out. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is, why the fuck would I put the days of the episodes? Hey. And somebody's going to interrupt me again, huh? <laughs> Thought you could take me on, did you? Try me now, twerp. We'll see who comes out the better. Right. Can you please... Stop giving me people with like. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't open that. Um, yeah, please stop giving me people who have like one line of dialogue before I just murder the fuck out of them. Because I gotta come up with like an accent or something for them, and it gets a little annoying. Let's. I need a You have a portrait. <laughs> that threw me off guard. By the gods, that was young Drepin. What's going on, Colin? Old asked us to search for you here, but this is far more foul than any of his most fearsome illusions. <laughs> Alright, just because you have a portrait, I'm gonna trust you. It's a long story, Arcanus. Please, you have to help me get out of here, and fast. Can I trust you? Aye, child. Trust me, you can. And Data, too. I know not what assistance we can be to you, except four strong arms and an eye for illusions. We shall see to the end of these crypts, but not beyond, as we must bear witness to the horrors that befoul this place. How may I? I shall attend to it in a trice. Did... you just... You didn't survive the end of that sentence? Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, god damn it. I really like the accent I had for him, too. Hmm? Seek my comfort, will you? I, I'll show you a sweet and silent comfort, if you'll let me. Wasteling. Just fucking kill them all. My blade will cut you down the side. Go for the eyes. That's a fuck ton of skeletons, all right. This really makes me want to play, like, proper d and I kind of don't want to go in these corridors, either, because they're gonna... Something on your mind? Dullard. Insolent waif. I tried to instruct you. Tried to make you wise. But it was like drawing compassion from a zent. You are nothing, child, and you will soon become much less. It is useless to try and finish that sentence. Man, if all these people are just gonna fucking run at me, say some 
stupid line of dialogue. Fetch bolts, I said. I should have told you to lick my boots clean, you mound of flesh. Go for the ice pool. Go for the ice Are doppelgangers known for hissing? I, I guess it's their world. They can do whatever the... Not the doppelgangers. I mean the game creators. It's their world. Doppelgangers can do whatever the fuck they want. But it just seems weird to me that like every one of them has this like very specific lisp at the end of... Uh, Every sentence. Maybe I should be lisping for them. But then I'd have to know who's a doppelganger beforehand. And like, these ones are obvious. Elminster. I was Joe. Okay. I see Gorion with you. Well, there goes my theory that Elminster is Gorion and he faked his own death. What the fuck? Okay. Not how I expect. I need a moment to process this. I also need a moment to remember how I did Elminster's voice. <laughs> Colin, stop this madness, child. I beg of thee. Thou hast soaked these halls with the blood of the innocent, and I cannot permit it to go further. Uh, okay, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna go with two. I'm just gonna start throwing out accusations. Uh, reveal your true nature, doppelganger. You are no more an Elminster than I am Drist the Drow. And Drist thou art not, thank goodness. As for this old ragtag physique, thinkest thou that I would let anyone duplicate it without express permission? I have it copyrighted. Thou must know. Come, poor soul. <laughs> Let us leave this darkness behind and struggle toward the light. The three of us shall guide thee. <laughs> I love that it just throws a little bit of humor in there, too. Um, okay. What about the one that wears the face of my stepfather like a mask? I know him for dead, and only a American would haunt me so. Awake, my adopted child. Awake, and face the terrible tests ahead of thee. It's okay, Colin. It's all right. I didn't die that night, nor have I yet. The blade that you thought slew me had been treated with a magical poison. It left me a living soul and a lively mind, imprisoned in a body that gave all appearance of death. The man you saw that night is called Saravak, and he has been in the keep for three days past under the reverse alias Kovaros. Yeah, I figured that out, thanks. Tethdril kept watching him, but in our foolishness, we never thought that he might have others with him. Please, child, I have loved you too much to lose you now. Greetings, young one. Elminster and I had suspected it for some time. With Saravak away from his lair, Elminster was at last able to locate your stepfather and bring him to safety. Forgive me, Colin. I should have told you earlier, but to raise your hopes only to see them dashed to pieces all over again... There's too much heart left in this bony cage for me to have done that. Please, child, sheath those weapons and sheath thy madness too. Come with us and we shall see thee at last to safety. Uh, okay. Um. I don't expect you guys to have answers, so I don't want to go with three. Um, I don't really want to attack you. Uh, honestly, every fucking doppelganger that's been attacking me so far has been pretty fucking dumb about it. They've just, like, flown at me. And they hiss. We established that. So, yes, Elminster, guide me from this place of horror that I might spend a gentler moment at the side of my stepfather. Stay close, then, Colin, and do not stray far from me, for monsters, imagined and real, still lurk behind co each corner. I will give thee further instructions when the time comes. Yes? It shall be as you wish. Just don't die like the other people, like instantly. Minsk. How may I be of you have but to ask? Well, thanks for not fucking just yeah, just fucking walk on by them. Did you guys turn into them? Uh, 
Was that a trap? Or did I just fall behind? You must gather your party before venturing forth. You have but to ask. I'm so fucking confused. What the f- mm. This is really starting to fucking piss me off. Who are you? I've been expecting Saravok, not some ragtag band. Uh, we're other members of Saravok's band. We're sent to help you. Trying to lie to me, are you? You're that Colin, ain't ya? Don't know how you got out of the prison. Don't much care, either. You're trying to mess up Servox's plans. Well, don't count on succeeding. There's no way you're getting by me or my boys. Don't think Servox would take too kindly if you showed up to mess with his plans for Baldur's Gate. Come on, boys. Let's make short work of him. Yeah, that's fine. Half my party can just go around the long way. Completely cool. I'm still what is okay. I I guess they were better doppelgangers. You know, Elminster really had me fooled with the fucking copyright thing. That's what sold it to me. It was just the right amount of humor. Or, you know, has Elminster been joking in much? Ooh, sword spider. Kill it. Fuck it. Fast. No. Minsk. Minsk, get it. Okay, that shit's getting in my way. Kind of annoying. Yep. No less than done. I like the bats just stuck over there too. Like I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> yes, it shall be as you wish. No less than done. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. Now I just have to wait. That's it. It's great. Go. How may I? You have everybody. <laughs> Well, at least I didn't give any information to uh, to the doppelgangers, so that's a plus. Oh, fuck you! Get rid of it. Fucking hate spiders in this game. Those I can deal with. Basilisks, not a problem. Somebody leveled up. Who was it? Dine? No, not down here. Um, Jahira. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. What? It's about time you got here. Pratt. It's Pratt, isn't it? I don't need to tell you that we must not keep Saravok waiting. I trust you didn't have any trouble in there. He said that the monks fell for the ruse and Colin was locked up, so he took the surface route and out of the keep instead of meeting you in the crypts. We really must get moving if we were to catch up with him. None of these look good. Like, none of them look convincing. But this guy sounds kind of dumb, too. So... Alright. Yeah, I'm Pratt. Pratt is indeed my name. Where are we supposed to meet up with Saravok again? Back at the throne. <laughs> Back at the Iron Throne base in Baldur's Gate, of course. He has business elsewhere in the city. But no doubt we shall get our bit of coin if we await him there. 
There's still much left to be done, so I doubt he'll show for a while, though. The disgrace of Colin will make the road smoother, but we must still act fast. Saravak is notoriously impatient. Let's get moving. Um... Right then, off we go to meet Saravak. Don't want... Don't want to have him attacking us like Railtar and the others. That... That was never the plan. Saravak wouldn't sully his hands on those he didn't deem worthy of personally killing. For Colin and party to be blamed, they were either to be imitated by doppelgangers or fooled into attacking Railtar and the others unprovoked. You should know this. You... You're not Pratt, are you? Oh, bloody hell. Bit of a mistake on my part, wasn't it? Well, most of it went according to plan regardless. You'll forgive me if I don't stay for fisticuffs. Cheers. Nope, nope, nope. Get, get... Oh, you... You coward. Life continues to be quite the challenge. You have been accused of murdering the Iron Throne leaders, and the Flaming Fist will undoubtedly hound your every step because of it. Despite all of this, you must return to the city of Baldur's Gate, the very lair of your accusers. You must find and expose the one who is responsible for your predicament. You must find Saravak. Okay, cool. I was just about to end the episode, and then it decided to just start talking. So, <laughs> we will end there. I want to thank you again for watching this playthrough of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Hope you're enjoying it so far. There's many more to come, I believe. Um, yeah, you know, same deal as always. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And most importantly, have an awesome day.